Today I want to talk about voltage in circuits and voltage drops, specifically focusing on the concept of Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now basically what Kirchhoff's voltage law says is that around any closed loop that you can trace with your finger in a circuit, the voltage drops across every element that you encounter as you go in the circle, they have to basically add up to zero. Or another way of saying that, just an algebraic uh, rewording of that, is that if you have a voltage source like this battery here, and then the current is going through multiple items and you're tracing a loop with your finger, the, the total voltage of the source has to equal the voltage drops added together as you complete a loop with your finger. That's Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now this comes directly from potential energy in physics because a battery or any other electrical storage device is basically a potential energy reservoir. That's what it is. So if you remember from physics, the top of a mountain, you have potential energy as the higher you are above the ground, right? There's an equation for that. And so you have maximum potential energy because if you throw a ball from the top of the mountain, you know, it'll gain all that speed on the way down. Now, if you go halfway down the mountain, you have less potential energy and halfway down the mountain, you have less potential energy. So as you walk down the mountain, you are dropping your potential energy, encountering a potential energy drop as you walk down, right? And the same thing is happening to circuits as you complete a loop. Let's say that you had a battery that had 10 volts. It could be anything, it could be 100 volts. But let's say there's a 10 volt uh, voltage drop across this battery. That's basically like the height of the mountain. That's what that means. And as you start tracing with your finger a path through the circuit, don't count the switch because that's a perfect conductor effectively. When you get to the first resistance, then you're going to encounter a voltage drop. This is just like going down the mountain and your potential energy is now lower than it was before because you've used some of that potential energy to light up the light bulb. In other words, to push the electrons through that first element. So your voltage has to be, your voltage drop is here, and then your potential energy has to be lower when you encounter the second item there. Then you have another voltage drop and another voltage drop. And if it's a 10 volt battery, the voltage drop across each element when you add them together has to equal 10 volts across any closed path that you take in a circuit. Now in general, these resistances can be totally different values, and so the voltage drops will be different across each element. But if you can trace a path with your finger around a closed loop, the sum of the voltage drops is always gonna add up to the sum or the total voltage that you had pushing from the top of the mountain. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.